اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سورة طاحا ورس 37 اوکی وی آر انالائزنگ گرامیٹکلی ورس پائی ورس دیس ایس دی پرپس آف دیس کلاس دیس وان بیگن لائک پیفتین یر سگو کونٹینیوینگ اینڈ وی ستدید عربی گرامیٹکل عربی وی دیس گروپ دیس تائنگ بیسک تینگز ویچ وی آر ستدید ان ادر کلاس Uh, beginners level class I, I would say uh, Saturday 1 p.m. Uh, Wednesday 7 p.m. twice a week with that group then we applied that to some surahs selected some pages as we are doing in that class 15 years ago we applied then we began from we began from the beginning of Quran we are here, all recorded by our sister Jamila Young, uh, that is only one copy, uh, and we are, I am thankful to him, to her, to, to them. Now they are recording this with technical thing, in addition to video, and putting on internet, anybody can log in, it is interesting technique, through that, we came to know not many but some students from England, some from India, some from other parts in Saudi Arabia, other parts of the world and uh, uh, so it is interesting uh, this technology how it goes reaches to people and people ask questions they are, they are able to ask questions and there are two students I believe who are answering on my behalf if they don't know they are <coughs> supposed to ask me how to answer uh, so it is interesting these uh, technical brothers get together and sisters get together organize and uh, finance and support I don't know anything but I am enjoying their service uh, I am very thankful to them uh, to me, this type of education must be given to each Muslim in the world. Definitely non-Arabic, Arab, non-Arabic speaking, speaking uh, Muslims. Definitely, definitely young people who are growing. This type of study, with some additional study for young people, who are growing anywhere in the world, definitely invest in America growing. This type of education needs to be given. In addition to this type of education, like Islamic concepts, way of thinking, Islamically, because they are culturally affected by Western capitalistic individualist system and educational system, individualist, capitalist, pragmatist system as opposed to Islamic way of system. Their thinking, culturally they are growing in, fits to local system, pressure, cultural pressure, peer pressure, teacher pressure, friend pressure, environmental pressure, TV pressure, media pressure, so their way of thinking, they may be saying we are Muslim, but their way of thinking could be, is very much different, even opposed to Islamic one. To develop something Islamic in their mind, for that I have a subject for all schools, Islamic schools, non-Islamic schools for masjids. That is what terminologies of Qur'an and Islam, conceptual meanings of that, way through these terminologies, how to think Islamically as opposed to non-Islamic way of thinking, how to think. For that, we need to develop Tazkiya, cleaning oneself, Qawi Iman, strong Iman, what that means. We need to develop hub, love, brother. We need to develop uhuwa, brotherhood concept. What is that? Who is brother to who? What that means? 
Is that a truth? Nahi, or what? What is this? What is this? Jihad, jah, jihad, jihad in nafs, jihad in other areas, all ibadah concepts, all other concepts, which is ene, what is ene, enaniya, ego, what is ego, what is not ego, positive and negative, what is jealousy, what is not jealousy, what is riba, what is not riba, what is namima, what is not namima, what is respect in Islam, what is toleration in Islam, what is that? Are we going to tolerate everything? Some, what is compromising in Islam, not compromising in Islam, what is looking, looking like non-Islamic, what is means of being Islamic, what is that? It is not a, a job. It is not a, a, just a word everybody can know. No, no, it can, not everybody can know. So these type of basic concepts in Islam we must take in, inculcate to the brains of young people, explaining nicely, good, convincingly, educationally, step by step, getting their input. If they have any doubt, eliminating that one, moving next one. Very, very important. Muslim woman neglects, their youth is gone, they are gone. Why? Because society is so big, swallows. Does not allow you chance from your corner. You cannot correct the things by sitting rolling tasbih or doing just to are. There must be something else. That's something else I am talking about. So, but Arabic part must be this way, to me. To me this is the solution for Ummah here in this West. Muslims in, in France, Muslims in Germany, there are millions of Turkish people are not studying this way. They are losing their children. They are unable to communicate with their children. Muslims in West, in meaning in France, in Germany, as opposed to Muslims here, are different. They are just laborers from North Africa, in France, or from Turkey, just laborers, just clean-cut people from villages, no education. Here, educated Muslims are educated. Here, definitely. Definitely. Here, Muslims, definitely the ones who came before, were educated, high level, high level. So. Muslims over there in in, in in West have difficulty to communicate with their children. They cannot help their children in school. German schools are tough schools. French schools are tough schools, not like American system. American high schools, elementary schools, compared to schools in Turkey, because I know better, are nothing, very soft very easy, very accommodating. Over there, too tough, three times more times difficult to pass. All subjects you need to study, no optional subjects that much, no tutoring, nothing. I mean math, physics, chemistry, whatever in high school level, you suffer. Your students, day and night, day and night, very difficult. Students who finish high school, I mean, any school in my country, for example, elementary school, when they come here, they get surprised. So easy for them. Four is the sixth grade. Oh, what is this? We studied this three years ago. They think like, they, they think like, what is this? It's very easy. They may not know language, that is different, but if it is a concept, they can understand. So, Umma here, must open their eyes for their children. This education, this is, Arabic is very important. No excuse for young people growing here not to know Arabic, how to write, how to understand a little bit, grammatical roots, no excuse. Anybody who is in leadership position, arranging things, 
Come here, young boy. You don't know this? You don't know this level? Out! You are out. Don't check. You are out. You watch from corner. Train yourself. Cook. Be, be cook. Then come here to the arena. These are basic things. Something like that. So, anyhow, uh, just a little, a little bit enthusiastic, perhaps, uh, comment. A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitan Rajeem. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. 37 Surah Al-Qaha. وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّا عَلَيْكَ مَرَّةً أُخْرَى وَلَقَدْ Lam means of course here Qad means of course these two are for ta'kid ta'kid means emphasizing the, what is going to be said is very important لَقَدْ this the word Qad when it comes before Ma'di you know my students Ma'di that is past tense in Arabic, that means of course, definitely, no doubt, Qadr. When it comes before Mubariya, Qad yakunu, Qad ya'lamu, Alma ulima ya'lamu, 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 Mubariya. You know, you know everyone, yes. That means sometimes. Qadr. Qadr means sometimes, not of course. Not definitely, not to, no doubt. So Qad has two meanings. Before Mabi, before Mubari. Before Mabi, no doubt, of course, definitely, for sure, and in English word. Indeed, law, L-O, Old English, King James Version, English, King James Version, Bible. Law, that means, of course, indeed, of course, that has, doubt that system. So, that is, but when it comes before Mubari, Qad yakunu, Qad ya'lamu, Qad ya'malu, Qad yazhabu, sometimes, some, not all the time. Same Qad has two different meanings. But here, La, of course, Qad, of course, Menanna, because Menanna is Madi. Menanna. Men, menene, men, men like ferere, ferere, medede, medde. This is called mubaat, doubled, because two letters say medede made one, shedde, doubled, doubled, wrapped, uh, folded, folded, folded made one, medede, menene. Menena menena menenu, menena munina yamnunu yumnanu mubari. Menena menena menenu menenu. Menena? No, this one here. We did men. What is men means? Favoring, giving favor. Men has two meanings in Quran. Yamunun alayka naslamu in Surah in other parts also it is mentioned. Yamununa, Menena Munina, Yamun Yamnunu, Yumnanu, Yamunnu. Mudariya. Same root. This root menena has two meanings, two basic meanings. What is that? One is rebuke. Tawbih. Tawbih, if you are using in your language, Tawbih Takbir. Over. Rebuke. I mean, yes, that, yes. What are you doing? Reject. Something like that, you see. Refusing, rejecting someone, degrading someone for something. I mean, like help, rebuke. Takbir, takbir. Uber, uber, uber. Bad. Opposite of person. Person beautiful, uber is ugly. Bad. Ugly, making ugly. Uglifying, if there is a word like that in English. If there is not, I am, I am telling you, there is some, something coming from my village. Uglifying. So, uglifying. Making something bad, 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 something like that. Menene. Second meaning, second meaning is granting favors. And Allah gives men to you. What is that means? Allah gave favor 
his 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 graces, his bounties, his nearness on you, shower, his nearness on you. Uh, Yusuf Ali translates, we conferred in favor on thee another time before thee, King James Version English. This Yusuf Ali's translation. You know Yusuf Ali, one of the best translations written in English. In his time, there was another person, friend, Englishman, that is Marmaduke Piftol, Muhammad Marmaduke Piftol. He accepted Islam, Englishman, lived in Hyderabad, India, Deccan, Deccan, Hyderabad, India. Nizam time. Hyderabad, India, Deccan. There was Nizam state. Like 500 years, 600 years, very interesting state, Muslim state, good state, very interesting place. Because at the beginning of this, not this, last century, 20th century, that is 1900 plus, 1901, 92, 93, 94, that is 20th century. They were very active. There was Nizam, of course, politically as I understand, I mean, in India there were problems and political things later on. This is in history in India, I don't know that much and uh, really that part, I'm not siding this side or that side, but from the point of scholarship, they established later on Osmania University in Hyderabad, Deccan, India. This person, Yusuf Ali, Yusuf Abdullah, who translated this translation, she was very favored by English administration. It was very high level, highest level of Muslim civil servant, this was highest level in India, before partition of Pakistan and anything, this, this person. So he convinced English administration that there must be an, an university, Osmania University, be established in Urdu, Urdu speaking. So he convinced them, because English people were not favored. If you do like that, there may be dissension, partition, other things. When you establish university, there uh, intellectual people gather, students, and then it becomes a problem later on. But he convinced them. This is written in in the uh, in a book. I would I will suggest every one of you buy that book, read that book. But if you feel something in your heart, uh, keep quiet. Don't speak against the translator. Uh, because there are so many things uh, you get disappointed, but that is what the book is research the book about. That is, search for solace. Solace, English word, difficult for me, tasliya, looking for ta'aziya, or you looking for, for uh, uh, satisfaction, something like that. Solace, S-O-L-A-C-C-E. Yes, solace. By Sharif, somebody by Sharif. This book published in, 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 in Malaysia, a research book. There are more to it, but I wish this researcher will publish once, one edition of one. This is how this translation came out about what he went through, how many times he married. He married, for example, in, in England in a church, no kalam, okay, no, no, no bad word against him, but this is reality, what the book says. He had three, four children from his first wife, first wife, American, or, uh, sorry, English, I think not Muslim, or accepted Islam, went back to Christianity, and children grew up with no father, because father was in India, left his family in England. So there, must, there was infidelity, something like that. So 
divorce. So children went away, seemingly not happy with their father. Father was not uh, uh, in connection. Then married another one. Another one, is a son from him, began to work in Indian Army. I wish I was somebody may look for him, if he is alive or not, second, from second marriage. The son, if he is alive or not, could be. He himself, Shalkat Ali, Muhammad Ali, the people who were his friends in India, friends of Muhammad Ali, Yusuf Ali, were always shying away from him because they were kind of separatists against mandate, against English rule in India. They wanted English rule finished. But Yusuf Ali, Muhammad Ali was in favor of English rule in India and Pakistan, was not in favor of Pakistan either, separation. So his friends, when they were meeting, they were always running away, hiding from their activities from him. They looked at him as working with an intelligence officer, intelligentsia, in England. So in English, in England, he was very favored, lecturing in Lords, here and there. I mean Lords, House of Lords, these people. They were listening to his lectures. He was very well qualified in Latin, in, 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 in Greek, in history, in literature. He was from Ismaili Bori family. I'm not saying he continued to be like that, but from his birth days. He was educated in elementary level, junior high school level, in Christian schools. Very much influenced. He was capable, brilliant student. All efforts spent on him, they raised him very well. Perfect English. You, lo you see in his, his notes here, you will never find these notes anyway. He leans. When it comes to his notes, you see that how vast knowledge he has of history of literature, history of Greek, Latin. These are two big literature of source of Latin. Western culture, West civilization. He was very well, he is very well. So he, he worked in that area and then they were, there was Khilafa movement in India to save Khalifa's position, help Khalifa in Turkey. 1920s, 23, 1, 22, 23, 24. When Turkey, Ottoman Empire was going down, Turkey was going to be established. So there are personal things, something related with my country, with my immoral, my, my, my uh, history. So these Muslims in India, Khilafah movement, they have magazines, they have published. It is available, this one is available in, in public records in England, London. <laughs> There is public records, office of public records. There is folder, Khilafah folder over there. English foreign affairs folder. There are reports there in that folder. If you are scholar, if you are authorized university researcher, you can study that. Uh, if you are not, you, can, you are not allowed to go to see them. So I am one of the lucky person who saw that folder a second person after it was opened, before it was closed, before that was closed. Second person, my name is there because we we pledged, we we filled the form. The previous person's name also is there on the folder. Who who is getting this folder? Doing what? So everybody knows. Uh, that is with permission. A special permission. So, this, it is documented over there, Khilafah movement, and they collected money, gold money, to send to Turkey. They sent to Turkey. In Turkey, years later, this is 84, 
There was an ad in Turkey, Turkish newspaper. We have Ish Bankası, I S, but they will like S is pronounced like S H. Ish Bankası, this is biggest bank, one of the biggest banks. Ish Bankası was saying that we are happy to show you how we grew the Khilafa movement money came from India, Muslims collected, which was one of the main money establishing 50, 60 years ago of our bank, grew from this much to billions. So you come to our bank. This is anniversary or something, 50th anniversary or 60th anniversary. I ran after that. They, I wanted to see these documents. What happened to that money? That money was supposed to, to. They came to Turkey. They gave this money to leaders. But these leaders, instead of spending to save Khilafa, they put that into the account of a party was established that time. Party, political party, their own party against Islam. It is today government has been from that party. You don't know the history. Muslims, then, they don't know the history. They don't know each other's history. So what happened? That registered as a share of that party, whereas it was supposed to be spent to save Hilal. It did not. So this Shaukat Ali Muhammad Ali, this brother was opposing to that concept. Later on, when Turkey was negate, ne negotiated by Western, Western powers in Lausanne, Lausanne is a city in Switzerland, Turkish Esmet Inönü and second person in Turkey, second president after Ataturk, who was not inclined into Islam at all, that type of military general was sitting representing Turkey with his people, France. Other side, there was English general, French general, Italian general, because they were the people who invaded Turkey before. So, truce, treaty, to settle. So they made a, 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 an agreement. That agreement has two parts. One is public, known by everyone, one is secret. Not everybody knows. One of the secret article is to end Khilafah. This, this, this promise to them, Turkish side, that they will end Khilafah. Second article, Hagia Sophia, Hagia Sophia, that big mosque in Istanbul, which was dedicated by Fatih Sultan Ahmed five plus years ago, when Istanbul was conquered as mosque, will stay as a mosque, will be as a mosque, will be changed into, by this administration, will be changed into church. But they could not change into church, now it is museum. They changed to mosque, to, to, to museum. No more mosque. No more mosque. When you go to Istanbul, you can visit that near Sultan Ahmed Mosque, Another Hagia Sophia, another mosque, this young girl, uh, Nazarene. Did you visit this time? Uh, I, Hagia Sophia, you did not visit that time. She has all pictures in, in her web, uh, this time visitation, a lot of pictures. I was surprised to uh, put in the computer and uh, to see that because that mosque was church built before the Prophet's birth. 325 something after Jesus Christ. The Prophet was born 570. 325 building. Muslims, that was church, 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 but big state church, Byzantine Empire. The king was throned in that church. So when that church, that Istanbul was conquered, Fatih Sultan, the conqueror, said, from now on this will be mosque, not church. 
This will be mosque. This is the sign of Ottoman Khilafa, Ottoman Sultan. And he wrote what here. Anybody who changes this, let Lanatullah, the curse of Allah, be on him or something like that. So, Lausanne, 1924, something those days, these generals promised. There was a general, English general. Behind that English general, there was a Muslim sitting, advising, whispering to English general. Who was that? Yusuf Ali. But no kalam against him. Don't speak against him. This is reality. Why it happened like that? I don't know. I don't know. We don't know. Too bad. But this is best tafsir, best tarjama, best translation. Compared to Marmaduke Pictor, also he, he translated. And his, he died in a miserable way in, in England. 1924, some, sometimes no friend, no relative, nothing, destitute. They found him at the, under, under the Trafalgar Tower or something that Trafalgar, England, English is like, English in London. Uh, rainy day found him, took a geriatric center to hospital and who this person is died. And then they found commissioner, uh, Pakistan commissioner, Pakistan commissioner sent to a prime minister copy of letter is in that book. Prime Minister saying that the Prime Minister of Pakistan Sir, regretfully I will I am informing you that yesterday we buried someone Yusuf Ali who found that there and we were informed he died and he buried here. This is regretfully so and so. This. Then he is buried in Surrey in England there is an area called Sari, S-U-R-R-E-Y, I believe. This is a, I visited Sari, but I wish I could know that time this history. Next to Marmaduke Pictor, next, there they were next to each other. I value visitation of scholars, graves, I value, I, I, am, I am in that category. Uh, uh, it is okay, it is not bad, it is good. So, so, uh, this is big scholar, big scholar. Uh, where did I come that, to that from? But you need to read. You need to read. He says, Definitely we, we did favor, conferred favor, alayka to you, merit and once more, ukhra, another time. Ukhra, mu'annas of akhar, akharu. Akharu is muttafid. Akhara, Delay. Akharu, Akhtabu, Ismu Tafir. Akharu, Akharani, Akharani, Akharuna, Akharina. Ukhra, Akbaru, Akbarani, Akbarani, Akbaruna, Akbarina. Ukhra. This is different. That is the Ukhra. Ukhra means last of the last. Superlative. Ismu Tafir. Ukhra. We, Velakad Manana, we graced on you. Alayta on you. Addressing to Musa alayhi salam. <laughs> Allah is saying to Musa alayhi salam, we gave, we favored, we gave another favor, another ni'mah, another grace to you, O oh my, O uh, oh my servant Musa, marratan, once, once, ukhra, another last, another time. What is the subject we are talking about? Musa alayhi salam. Where we are we? <coughs> Musa alayhi salam is ordered by Allah to go to Firam. That is the beginning of story. Musa alayhi salam had run from Firam. Run away from Firam. He was in palace. He was grown in palace. Run away. Now Allah is telling him, go back, tell him the truth. Dawa, do dawa. How difficult. How difficult. It is very much relevant. Musa alayhi salam story, Firaun alayhi lana story is very much relevant for Muslims today. Especially for the ones who are living in a western country, America. Superpower. Firaun was superpower. 
that time. Nobody else. Higher or stronger on higher. Musa a.s. was representing Islam. Why? We are in that position here specifically. So this superpower, non-Islamic. So we are in a position like Musa to do this thing, what he is so very much relevant. Of course, spiritually, historically, context is different. But today's context, we need to adjust. We need to adjust ourselves here. I listened a few days ago, a program on TV, system. I mean, if you are interested, you check. There is an institute somewhere in, in Washington, D.C., somewhere. Center for Immigration Research or something, immigration related with immigration. But it's, it's Middle Eastern Department of Section. Oh, everything was, they were speaking, Daniel Pike, first time I saw his face, and others over there. No Muslim was there. No Muslim, but all other people. I mean, they were just mentioning anything, everything about immigration, number of immigration, what was before, how many Muslims, now why is like that, when this happened, why did this happen, September 11, connected, one must be careful, it must be screened, why these people are coming like that, walking like that, uh, waving their hands and walking like that, Saudis, 19 terrorists, 15 of them, others, Minister, some secretary said that there are hundreds of pirates, sympathizants or supporters here. Money is collected, masses, mosque, and everybody. I mean, each sentence you see yourself in one way or another in that sentence. Any sentence, any sentence they mention, you are there. Directly, indirectly. I am there. Directly, indirectly. I mean, what kind of, what kind of I mean, it's interesting country. Freedom of speech, freedom of research, freedom of expression. Oh, I listened some time ago someone from Rand Corporation, researcher, administrator, experienced guy, expert, saying what? Of course we need to invade Saudi Arabia, Gulf states. What they are doing? Oil. Who did that oil? Who dug that oil in the past? We Westerners, it is our right, it is ours, not theirs. They nationalized before. Nationalization is zero, not acceptable. So it is ours. We will get back. Why not? Do it. Look, different. It is not, I mean, this type of, of mentality, I don't remember listening like three, four, five, six, seven years ago. It is very different mentality. Somebody is say, speaking differently. Very different. And putting all everything aside. Profiling. What profiling? These are terrorists. Dangerous. No profiling. No profiling. This is not a profiling. We are not accusing anybody. Just searching. Different. Earlier, oh, profiling is against discrimination. You cannot profile someone. You cannot search someone because of his his race, because of his country of origin, because of religion, before. Now somebody is saying, what are we talking about? This is not because of religion. This guy is suspe suspected. I will, I will, I will, I will, I will search. I will profile. I will look after. I will check for, for him, for him. Different. Those days gone. And different understanding. And it is expressed very strongly. It is not. So Muslims, Muslims must open their eyes. It is different. So it is a lot of relevancy. This story is related with us Muslims. A lot. A lot. وَلَقَدْ مَنَنَّا We grace عَلَيْكَ upon you, O Musa, مَرَّةً once more, أُخْرَى Another time. Is when أَوْحَيْنَا we revealed. وَحِي أَوْحَيَا 
Lahaya, John Gers from my other class, Hafiza. Lahaya, El Haya, four letter, one half is at El Haya, U Haya, U Haya, U Haya, El Haya, Ihaun, Muhayun, Muhayun. That is, Hafalo of the Babu Lifal, Hafalo of the Yufalo, Yufalo, Hafal, Ifalo, Muhalun, Muhalun. Same thing, Ursalo, 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 Sensitive, Tadia, Bina Uhuli Tadia. You do what to someone else? Al Haina, we did what? Al Haina is Mabe. Here, four letter Mabe. We did what? Ila to Ummika to your mother. Ma that you ha? Ma what? You ha? You ha is Mudari Machur. Al Haya. Uhiya, you hayu, you hayu, you ha, you hayu, you ha. Is being wahi, dan wahi. We have revealed, we did wah to your mother of Musa, she is Musa. To your mother, ma that, what, you ha, whatever we did, reveal to her, we revealed. One time. Now, analytic, analyze. This is a wah, the word wah. You see, the word wah is used here by Allah for something communicating to a lady. Who is that lady? Mother of Musa. So, the word wah, communication, is not for Prophet only. It is used, could be used, the word wahi, for communication to someone who is not prophet. Musa salam's mother is not mentioned as a prophet. So, the word wahi is not specific for revelation done to prophets and vessels and messengers grammatically, linguistically from the point of Quranic terminology. I will tell you something else. What is used for communication to animals, to creatures, to insects? In Quran, half is half is as everybody may know. Rabbuka, your Lord did wah to who? Nah, no that. Nah means what? Peace. Your Lord, Allah, did wahi, send his wahi to peace. E -E -E. So, reveal to them or communicate with them so that they can, they can, they can do collective uh, juices make honey, like archi architecture, like full archi architect, they say that bees know 17 sciences, 17 expertise. One of them is architecture. They are biggest architects. Exactly they will. They are biggest chemists. They know which part of juice to pick, and bring from somewhere, small, 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 build exactly the same shape, same form, same way. All of them, they are very much space geometry. There is something called space geometry. Geometry in our country, I was best in my class in high school geometry, not in algebra, but in geometry, best. Space, space geometry, uh, sorry, surface geometry we have in, in our country. That means you draw the dot dot line, you consider this line is line, straight. There is no straight thing in, in this world. Because your eyes breaks. Breaks there is the weather, like water, you put your stick, 
straight step, you see, you see it is broken. It is not. It is straight, but it is, you see, same thing is happening in the, in the space. There is this white water. It, even if it is straight, then it comes, it doesn't come straight, broken, 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 broken. There is no straight. You, you suppose, assume it is straight. So no, in civilization, civilization is best on this geometry straight, straight, uh, rectangular, or, or, uh, I mean, triangle, line, 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 corners. That is no such thing. In reality, broken, broken, broken. But we are assuming those broken things as unbroken. We cannot change the whole history. You cannot change the whole history. There is a Russian, Russian uh, geometrist, uh, Krasikovsky, Robachevsky, Wanskiewski, something, opposes to that. That was very truthful guy, but they could, it is marginal idea, very scholarly idea, but we cannot change all literature for that. So they left like that. There are many scientific truths, but they are in minority. You cannot change history, everything for them. You read it as a philosophy, something like that, for your heart, for your culture, but you cannot follow it. This is, this is the... In Dean also is like that. There is this mazhab, this mazhab, but there is majority of things. This mazhab may have a, a lot of truth in it, but it is not practicable in this community, because community is, is very much attached to another practice. You cannot change. That will become a big problem. So you cannot change everything. In Islam also it is, it is reality. So this, but there is a space, Hava, space geometry, you just imagine. There is a box here, it has this corner, that corner, that corner, at the back you cannot see that corner, how to picture. That is, this, so, this geometrical, why did I come to this, to this? Yeah, bees. Bees, ah, very good. Bees, this lead bee goes, finds some good juice somewhere, comes back to the friend, his people, makes a music, big musician. One of the big musicians, music is haram, you say, but it is natural, <laughs> it is natural, bees, bees are chanting music. Yes, so it comes like that, makes sound, everybody hears, makes parable, something like that, the triangle, the whatever shape it does, the, they calculate, they know, and runs away, goes back to the target. All the people behind me, they follow this parable, they follow this way, this order. How did they know? Seventeen sciences. In Istanbul, when I visited the mosque of Fatih, Fatih Mosque, where the conqueror of Istanbul, Fatih Sultan Mehmed, 21 years old, built that mosque, and his grave is in front of Mihrab, outside, outside. There, is a, there was a library established in his time, 500 years old. That is called Fati Jami Mosque, uh, library. In that library I saw a scholar, Dumul Ali Mustafa Efendi. Mustafa Efendi, Mustafa Efendi means sir. Mustafa sir, sir Mustafa. Single, lived single, died single. But walking library. Ayaklı kütüphane. Two-legged library. Two-legged library, that is the translation of it. When I met him, very curious, I was very curious. I, I visited all Muslim scholars I heard in Istanbul. I became students, some of them, because I was very busy, but with some I visited once, twice, because this was my program in my life. So I am happy for that. 
So he was very curious, young boy. I was Hafiz, I studied Arabic, I was like short. I mean, anything they tell me. One ayah, I used to follow up something. So he was climbing to, uh, to pick up a book in library. Then he saw me. Yes, young boy. He was stepping first step uh, ladder. I said, sir, uh, I am so and so. My name is so and so. I just wanted to be to see you, to kiss your hand, and to get your dua. Oh, I said, he said, you are. What is what is your interest? I said, I am interested in studying Arabic. I will study Arabic. I will Islamic studies, and I am I am happy to Quran. I can read out to Quran professionally, nicely. So, hmm, ah, you know what book I am, I am looking for? I said, I don't know. He said, there is a book here about this. It is manuscript. Maybe it is one copy in the world. No copies anywhere in the world. Because not printed, all others are destroyed. So this is one copy, existing copy in this world, in this library. So I am going up. I will pick that book. You know what is written there? I said, I don't know. It is about the beast. It is written that these know 17 sciences. And he told me what I am telling you. In that book. In that. Then when I was in Istanbul, this, there were cracks in that building. So they took off, out these books, moved to Suleymaniye Library, near Suleymaniye Mosque. Biggest library in Turkey, full of manuscripts. Biggest in the world. Believe me. That is the paradise for researchers. Arabic, Persian, Islamic studies, Ottoman Turkish. Paradise. Istanbul. Istanbul is paradise. If you are a researcher in Islamic studies, the books, old, old manuscripts, 12 centuries ago, 13 centuries ago, Istanbul. You live in Istanbul. You live in Istanbul, every day you go, 9 o'clock it is open or 8 o'clock, up to 5 o'clock, you study, then you check from the cart, they will bring the book, you will, you cannot take books out, these are like state documents, you can study them, they may give you copies if you wish, you register your name, copies you can get, uh, and because you are reading something about music, okay? Ghazali said something. Ghazali said, I explained this in another book. I explained this in detail in another book. Mentioned his, the name of the book. So you say, oh, let me find that book. It is just there. You just check from that. Oh, a manuscript. What is that manuscript? Nine centuries old manuscript. Nine centuries old manuscript, okay? The book is available, not printed at all. So you just write it, fill the form. Ten minutes later, the book is on your table. Oh, you read, oh. Nine centuries ago written in Arabic, in Persian, in Ottoman Turkish. If you can read, mashallah. Nine years, nine centuries old book. Expressions. Words. Scripts. You can read? Read it. It is written there in detail what he said. More. In another book, short. This book, detail. So then he is criticizing in that book, new book, another alim what he said. Saying that this alim, 200 years ago, write like that, but he may mix. Rina with music, instrument with non-instrumenting. How he mixed these things? It is wrong. He says, Oh, let me find that book. Criticize one, two hundred, listen to others. That book is available over there. Where are you going to find anything like that? I was in Association of Muslim Scientists meeting in Chicago somewhere. One person from California area, Shabir, his name is Shabir. He has an organization like wrong things in textbooks, in schools, against Muslims. So this, this happened like 10 years ago. Okay, this guy 
engineer from Egypt. He is from Egypt. As I remember. So he said, what is this? There is, they put a camel, desert, and a, a, a palm tree, Islam, under that. Muslims. I mean, camel, camel is some part of the Muslim world. In my country, in Turkey, there is no camel. I never saw camel until I, I, I reached 35, 40 years old. I never saw camel in, in our country, no camel. And palm tree, I will, we saw the picture, but no palm tree in my country. So no palm tree. So how palm tree represents only Islam, that one? So, so this is also degrading or half truth, not real truth. Why are you saying like that? So others, so now he is good working mechanism here. He said something, this engineer from Egypt, not Muslim scholar, had something. Brothers, I will tell you something. What is that? This is, we are living in a country, meaning America, where there is no Muslim Islamic books, literature. I said, Alhamdulillah, how he noticed, how somebody, a scholar must say like that, a alim must stand up, we are speaking about Qurtubis Tafsir, no, no Qurtubis Tafsir is available here, we are speaking about self, fuqaha, fuqaha books are not available here, because, I mean, it is expensive, nobody was bringing uh, to buy and things like that to print here, you cannot print all volume, print, back home it is not printed now, that much, all days they were printing. Now, I mean, books are scarce here, Arabic, Islamic, big, Tafsir, Hadith, Fakh books. This is what he said. An engineer said something like that. I was very much surprised then because exactly what he was saying was my suffering in my heart. What's truth? How he noticed? How he, for him, it was as an item to be mentioned. How I was surprised. I mean, very intellectual, big truth. There is no book. Is there was no book here. So. This is in, in Suleiman, in, in Turkey, coming back to, this is what I learned when I was perhaps 16, 17 years old that time, that these have this book, independent book, 17 sciences, that, and Allah, the Elha Rabbuka, Allah did wah ila nahli to peace. So the word wah, transitive form, is used Allah is using in communicating with animals, which, uh, which, uh, which uh, uh, living things like like this. So, don't come to tell me, Nazreen, that oh, what is specific for in Quran only for revelation of Quran for prophets? It is not the case. We must not become something more than. Quran. Nearly I would say the same thing for Huda Hafiz, Allah Hafiz. Nearly to say. I mean, people say, insist Allah Hafiz, Allah Hafiz. I commented on that. It is, I appreciate. But Huda Hafiz doesn't mean too wrong. Why? Because the word Rabbul Alameen, Rabb, the word Rabb, is used in Quran for the king of during the time of Yusuf alayhi salam, king of of Pharaoh, king of king of Egypt. The word Rabb, which is Lord. Rabbul Alamin is used in Quran for Allah. In Saint Quran it is used for that. You know, in Turkey we have a Qur'an published, a Qur'an, the Allah, the words Allah, and His qualifying words, His sifat, in red, in red, red color. Uh, there were opposition, why are you thinking like that, Jai is not Jai, that is uh, out of question, I, I don't want to enter to that area. The Qur'an which I have given to this young girl is that, ah, she holds, yeah, she holds, that is, you, you turn like that page, this, there are red colors, I believe, in that, yeah, in that. It is interesting, they put rub, 
in red because Rabb is the name, Rabbul Alameen, the name of Allah, red, Allah is red, Bismillah, Allah is red, Rahman is red, something, okay? But they made a mistake. They put in Surah to Yusuf the word Rabb, which means king, not Allah, king, ruler of that time, also red. So, if they were just the words related with Allah read, it must not have been read. So, uh, this is uh, scholarly or scholarly, I mean one may debate these colors and what is this, uh, but this is a special group in my country, uh, we call Yazıcı Nurcular, uh, they are Said Nursi's followers, but all timers they write in Arabic scripts and things like that, a small group. Their leader, Husrel Efendi, I met him in Sparta before he died, wrote with his hand a manuscript. He used this color first time. So his murids, oh blessing, blessing, they began to print like that, and it, it has been spread. It is okay, it is okay, not really big mistake. So, وَحْيِ إِذْ أَوْحَيْنَا إِلَىٰ أُمِّكَ مَا يُوحَىٰ We revealed to your mother whatever was revelation. I am sorry, I need to stop. Today we could not move forward uh, to answer perhaps a few questions. Then, yes, 39. Salam story is very much relevant for Muslims who are struggling in West, in Western culture, relevant and uh, uh, of course with adaptation, with adaptation like in anything you see, it is very much relevant. I, we may benefit a lot from these stories. Ibrahim alayhi salam story in Quran, Musa alayhi salam story in Quran, very much relevant for Muslims who are definitely living in Western, big culture which is like uh, not really uh, easy to, to uh, to overcome, not easy to overcome or to eliminate. Many questions? Oh yeah, 18, this is 18. Uh, does women need to cover uh, uh, when reading Quran? Themselves, themselves. Does need, does women need to cover themselves when reading Quran. Uh, can a girl uh, t-shirt when reading Quran? Without hijab. Without hijab. Uh, there are big discussion, but I am a little soft guy. Yes not necessary to cover. It is, it is good to cover, but one can read Qur'an without cover. For Qur'an, reading Qur'an, touching wudu is necessary. Touching or touching wudu is necessary. But covering, if she covers, without of respect, not necessary for reading Qur'an. If there is no man around, if there is man around, she needs to have hijab. That is, I am not discussing that one. But if she is alone reading Quran, she can read Quran without touching, without hijab. One can read Quran stretching feet in her bed, in his bed. We cannot read Quran or recite Quran in bathroom. Not because it is totally haram, because it is a place 
respect is not there and filthy is nejase is too much that is why we don't read Quran but outside of that when somebody driving hijab no hijab carry Quran looking Quran from his mouth from her mouth if monthly periods or man you know needs to wash cannot recite Quran as a text but can recite some dua parts of Quran as dua so my answer for that it is not necessary to cover head or body for reading Quran for a sister if there is no man watching seeing her not necessary, it is not necessary. For sisters, salah time needs to cover. For sisters, when they go out, anyway, they need to cover. That is, that is cover is okay. But we are speaking about Quran. Uh, I know sisters in weddings and ceremonies, when somebody begins to read Quran, sisters cover. It is respect, it is good, but even sometimes they cover half. That doesn't mean anything in Islam. It is cultural thing, it is respect, better than nothing, but Islamically they need to cover. Last night there was a program in Majestic Theater, and there was a comedian, young boy, lawyer, but not liar, because this is what he said over there, uh, very humorous guy, comedian Muslim, these bears with Kufi, Indo Pakistan family. I mean, he told us a lot of good things. I mean, we laugh, 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 laugh. Very, very interesting, very interesting people. Uh, I mean, how did they find any person like that? Very good. We must bring him in eight days here. Eight days people are sitting, arguing with them. No argue. When you listen to him, no argue. You will never, you will cry. You will say, no argue. Happiness will come. So they said, mother is telling to her her son, her daughter, hey, you my daughter, sour, sour, you are sorry. Sorry is Islamic. Sorry, you know, Pakistani, Indo-Pakistani, sorry. You're Islamic, very good Islamic. Covers everything except stomach, except that. <laughs> He said, from my, my part, let me tell my part. He said, my, my people, but he is from that side. <laughs> I mean, very, very humorous boy. He, he grabbed a lot of good things. Okay, is it, is it macro to read Quran without hijab? No, it is not macro. This is another uh, uh, continuation. It is not macro. No, no, it is not macro. Touching is not acceptable, but reading Quran is not macro without hijab. Reading Quran, you can read, as I said, even stretch feet and in your bed. It is jais. It is jais. Can we call? Marwan. Uh, well, what is? Marwan. Marwan is the name of God in Hindu religion. Marwan. Marwan. What is that? Marwan is the name of God. In Hindu religion. Uh, if that is specific God name, I, first I don't have the, how to answer this. But it is if if that is Hindu religion, God something. In, in we must not use that for our our God for our Allah. We must not use that one. We must not use if it is specific. If it is just supreme being, supreme being the meaning, supreme being. Then maybe. In English, to me, it is nothing wrong to say God. I know the difference between Allah and God. Gods, goddess. Allah is not feminine. Allah is not jam. Allah has no root. I mean, I know these differences. I studied this one. But it is okay to use in specific meaning as a Muslim the word God. It is not haram. Because Quran uses this type of words, as I said. It is not haram. In, in our culture, the ulamas, they use 
they use Khuda for in our literature, for rap, Khuda. In our literature, our literature is full like that. Ulama did not oppose to that. Ulama did not oppose. In specific meaning, in our language there is Chalab. Chalab, another word, not known in, in Persian, in Arabic countries. Chalab. Suleyman Chalabi is using that in his Mawlid Sharif. Nearly 500 years, I believe, or, or 300, 500, 300, 400 years, Ulama did not oppose. Of course, this has, this has cultural things. Some things are too sensitive, too oversensitive, uh, something. Dios, ah Dios, Dio, in French, which is Dios, is ah Dios, oh Dios. It is, it is usable. That's what I feel. I'm not opposing too much, but uh, really, sometimes people are creating a new problem, artificiality for something will disappear after 50 years. Nobody will remember Khuda, nobody will remember other things. Excuse me. Half of this generation, youth generation, will be swallowed by American culture after 50 years, who are born here. We, we, we need to think big, think big. People must, 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 must be neglecting to educate their children in other areas, just picking one word this way, one word this way. We don't know what, what is happening. I, I need to run because it has been stated that uh, the court of Pharaoh will be brought to the five, five days, fire, fire, fire day and night on the day of judgment. Would you explain briefly? Uh, what, is, what is the question? Could you repeat? Uh, the court of Pharaoh, the followers of Pharaoh, uh, at that time will be brought before the fire uh, day and night. In Jahannam, you see, before Jahannam? Yeah, right. Really, I don't know these details. Uh, I mean, maybe explain somewhere. I don't know myself uh, these details, uh, what will happen specifically for Firaun. Uh, I think in literature there may be a lot of things, but I don't know myself. Uh, what are 12 sciences? These are. I wish I could know all. Music is one of them, architecture one of them, space geometry is one of them. Navigation. Navigation, our brother from military knows. Uh, a lot of perhaps other things, leadership, leadership, peace, obey, the queen, mother. I mean, 17 sciences, 18 or 17 sciences in that book. I wish I could know that book, what that book, remember that book. Uh, by the way, about deep bees, about honey, because they are mentioned in Quran, there is big literature in Islamic history. Books, 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 books. You get, you get inundated, you get confused. Too much information. In Hayatul Haywan, written like, uh, I believe, second century of Islam, like 12 centuries ago, written. Well, centuries ago, Hayatul Haywan, these animals and insects and bees mentioned in Quran are detailed, big book. You get, you get surprised, too much information. I need to run. May Allah bless you. Thank you very much. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.